Hi, uh, we're going to do an example here where we're going to measure the speed of sound. Actually, we're going to measure the length of a hallway. I'm in the, uh, the, the hallway underneath the Union. That uh, There's a hallway that leads from the Union over to Cranert. You can sort of see it. It's a very long hallway here. And what I'm going to do is clap my hands to create an echo. And then the time, how long it takes from the original clap to the reflected clap, so we can get the time that it takes that sound wave to propagate to the end of the hallway and back. And then I'm going to calculate the speed of sound, and from that we should be able to calculate the length of the hallway. So let's go ahead and do this example. First of all, one of the things I need to know is the temperature in this hallway. And so what I have here is a little, uh, this is actually a meat thermometer. It's the only thermometer I had available. Obviously, there are probably better thermometers out there, but uh, this one seems to work well enough. I'm reading the temperature here. It's reading 68.4 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay, so 68.4 degrees. So I need that to calculate the speed of sound. Then the other thing I need to do is to uh, calculate how long it takes for the sound to travel to the end of the hallway and back. And for that, I'm going to use my phone and I have a voice recorder app on that and I'll just go ahead and clap my hands and record the, the sound, the original uh, clapping sound and then the echoed sound. And then I'll have that on here and then I'll take that to my computer and pull off the time that it takes to go uh, between the, the original sound and the echo. From that time, uh, I'll be, and the speed of sound, I'll be able to figure out the length of the hallway. So let's go ahead and do the clapping sound. So what I'm gonna do is start my phone app and uh, I guess I'll just, hand it to my trusty assistant who will measure it and let me go ahead and clap. Let me do it a couple more times. Okay, hopefully you can pick up that echo on your phone as well. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just to see whether we got the answer correct or not, we're going to actually measure the distance to the end of the hallway and back. And the way we'll do that is there are actually tiles in this floor. And if you look down, you'll see there's a line for this tile to here to here. And we can measure that length. And then what we'll do is we'll count the number of tiles all the way down to the end of the hallway and then back. Okay, so I measured the length of the hallway and the number of squares comes out to be 115 and then I measured the length of each square I did that in English units and then converted it over to metric units but the length of each square is 0.941 meters so the length of the hallway we expect would be the number of squares 115 times the length of each square which would be 0.941 meters and that comes out to be 108.3 meters. So we expect that the length of the hallway using our speed of sound method should be 108.3 meters. So now let's talk about the speed of sound method. Here what we have is me standing at the end of the hallway and then here's the whole length of the hallway. There's the wall at the end. The length of the hallway is L. And what I'll do is I'll clap my hands. Let's call that time when I clap my hands, let's call it T original. It's the original clap um, when I clap my hands. And when I do that, it sends down a sound, it sent, uh, creates a sound wave that propagates down to the end of the hallway, bounces off, and then comes back. And that'll travel at the speed of sound C. Right? So the speed of sound C we know from our compressible flow analysis is equal to the square root of K times R times T, where K is the specific heat ratio, R is the gas constant for air and T is the absolute temperature of the air. Make sure you use absolute temperature when you do that because it was derived from the ideal gas law. And then, uh, and then we'll hear the echo of the clap. So the, the, we have T original, I clap, sound wave goes down to the wall, bounces back, and then I hear the echo at T echo. And so the difference between T echo and T original we'll call delta T. So it's the time from when I originally clap until the time I hear the echo. So the length of the hallway then uh, using this method, the speed of sound method, actually is um, actually it's two times the length of the hallway will be equal to the speed of sound times the delta T. The reason it's 2L is because remember the sound wave has to go down 
to the end of the hallway and then come back. So it's actually traveling a distance of 2L. And uh, again, we have the speed of sound times the delta T, which we just found over here. So hopefully, when we use this method, we'll end up with a length that's close to what we uh, got from the direct measurement. So let's go ahead and uh, see what that comes out to be. I've taken the audio file from my phone and imported it into my computer, and I'm using this program called Audacity to get the audio signal. And what I've done is I've removed all of my voice from the audio signal and just left the claps in. So you can hear, or you can see here, the original clap, the very first one. There's a little bit of a blip here for the echo. There's the second clap, there's the blip there for that echo, and then the third clap and another blip there for that echo. So let me go ahead and play it for you from, so you can hear it. Okay, so now we have the claps, and what I'm going to do is just zoom in on these, and let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Okay, here we go. And we'll go to the first clap, let me see if I can remember how to navigate around here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just move my cursor and get it really close to the original clap. So there's the original clap, and I can look down here and get the, get the signal or the time. Let me get, try that again. So you can see down here we have the time. That's 0 0.402 seconds. So I'm going to mark that down. I have a spreadsheet set up over here. And you can see in the spreadsheet, I've got a, I've already put it together. Um, so here's the time of the original clap. So we said that was 0 0.402 seconds. And then I'll put in the echo clap. Now what I've also done on this spreadsheet already is put in the specific heat ratio for air. That's this one. The gas constant for air. The temperature that I read from that thermometer, 68.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I did a conversion to go from degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin, that's right here, and then I calculated the speed of sound from that temperature. So this is equal to the square root of the uh, square root of KRT, so the square root of the sp specific heat ratio times the gas constant times the absolute temperature in Kelvin. So you can see that the speed of sound in that hallway was 343 meters per second. So here's the original clap, and I've got three different claps here. Then I'll calculate the delta T. That's just the echo clap minus the original clap. And then the distance that the sound wave travels, it goes to the end of the hallway and back. So that distance is 2L. And to find that, what I'll do is I'll take the speed of sound times the delta T, and that'll be this value. And then the distance to the end of the hallway is just half of 2L. So that's just L here. So it's just this number divided by 2. So let me get this second time for the clap. So there's the original clap, and then the echo is right there. So let me try to get that time. So we'll say that's at about, when I look down here, it's at 1.033 seconds. So let's put that in, 1.033. So you can see that uh, the distance to the end of the hallway is assumed to be about 108 meters. Sorry, that, that's my rice cooker in the background uh, letting me know that the rice is ready. Okay, so let's do it for the second clap now. So that one, that timing is at about 1.853 seconds. So let's type that in. That's the original clap, 1.853. Now let's do the echo clap for that one. It's right here. So that one looks to be about 2.485 down here. See how repeatable it is, 2.485. And look at that, wow, it's very close. It's only off by 0.2 meters different from the original clap. Let's do the third one, see how repeatable that one is. Okay, so here's the original. So I'll put it right there. 4.279 seconds. And then let's do that echo. That echoes right about there. So that's at 4.912. And look at that. That one's also very close, 108.7 meters. So if I look at this, the average seems to be about 108.5 meters to the end of the hallway. 
So there you go. We got 108.3 meters when we did the direct measurement for the length of the hallway. And when we did the speed of sound measurement, the average came out to be 108.5 meters. So uh, very consistent measurements. Uh, so you can see that it actually all works out. Hope you enjoyed this example.